So this is a video regarding a Max 8997 chip in the Samsung Galaxy S2. This one was producing odd heat issues where it would heat up right next to the flash. And if you can see on the video, right to the left of the exposed chip, you'll see the flash sitting right there. So this is generally the chip that heats up and produces the issue. So this one's just laying out in the old dead pile and just wanted to get a bit more hands on with micro soldering. So this was another, just a, a dead job that I thought I'll attempt. In the end, it wasn't successful, but overall it was worthwhile doing it just for the experience of removing and replacing ICs on boards, which this one was a little bit simpler than I thought it was going to be. One thing I did found with, find with this was that the amount of heat that I had to apply to this Samsung board was quite high. Um, I found the solder wouldn't really melt unless I had the quick set to 350 degrees with a flow above about 60, possibly even up as high as 70, before that solder would even start to liquefy. I didn't have too many dramas with capacitors. I did knock a few of them, but with this one it was... As long as they were still on the board, they'd usually reseat quite easily. So I'll skip the video ahead just a little bit now. See, so I fast forwarded it and the, the balls are nice and prepped, which was a relatively good flip. I noticed it didn't, apart from a couple of larger blobs that did get produced, overall it's looking all right. Nothing got knocked out of the way around it. Now one thing I did do in this video, which I did take the chip off and change, was I corrected the solder balls and made them a bit more evener, but in reality I should have just removed them as there was already balls applied to the chip. So I do tinker around for a little bit here. I have chopped out about 3-4 minutes of footage. And right now I'm just going to hopefully, well, I do successfully move most of those solder balls out of the way. As you see, there's three major blobs you can see just near the tip of the heat gun. So I've just used some tweezers or some fine narrow tweezers. I'm just trying to drag it out of the way. This does end up connecting onto another capacitor, but it doesn't really cause too much of a drama. And one thing I should be doing here, which I did in some, or did after this footage, was that I got some copper, copper braid, dipped that in flux, and right now I was just gently brushing it over the balls to absorb them and remove them out of here. I was quite surprised that that worked a lot easier than I expected when I did remove them, and it made I reckon it made reapplying the new chip. A bit easier because it wasn't already above or already tapping solder onto solder it was solder onto pads so there was a nice little indent for it to sit on which I found even just reflowing the chip or just so, um, using the heat to get it to stick down it worked considerably better so for anything that involves an IC in the future I'll definitely be doing that procedure the other side of things is I'll also be getting the chips with the solder balls already attached to them. I have a cut a bit more footage out of there, so I've already dropped the chip. And right now I've got it aligned on with flux underneath it just to keep it a bit tacked down. Now granted this is with still with the solder balls already attached to the board and on the pads, and then the solder balls on the chip. So I thought I'd just do a bit of a quick method, but overall it's probably still not worthwhile the risk of creating joints or bridges when you're, when you're reapplying it.
And one video I'd definitely recommend checking out, or one YouTube channel, is The Art of Repair. He does cover. He does have fairly lengthy micro soldering videos or anything regarding uh, mobile repairs. So I definitely learned a few things from his videos. So yeah, keep up the good work, Justin. But overall, I found this to go reasonably well, or a lot easier than I thought. But a half of that, I reckon, or three quarters of that, comes down to having the right tools for the job which in the past I've used, tried to use cheap heat guns. Ah, as you can see there, the chip just shimmered just a little bit. And that's it attaching or attaching itself down, which it doesn't require too much more heat from here for it to fully apply. From here on out, it's mostly a clean up of the board with some isopropyl, removing of the tape, a little bit more flux and a bit more heat just to make sure it is nicely, firmly, uh, soldered down. Anyway, this is another little experiment I've been doing, which hopefully, hopefully I'll learn a few more things working on these dead devices, and hopefully in the future be able to actually offer this as a service. But anyway, I'll catch you later.